<laughs> We're live. Ooh, just in the nick of time. I almost Mr. got caught in a very compromising position then, Gary. Mr. Right, right. <laughs> Gary putting more toys on. I, I doesn't even fucking know we're live. Gary. <laughs> My pants are up. My pants are up. I, I need to zip up right now. Okay. <laughs> The live stream Friday Night Tight stems from the brain of comic book guru Gary Burgler. It's fun, if a little self-congratulatory, unashamedly drifting from film and TV criticism to pop culture to sharing fan memes to politics. One thing it can't be called is sexist because Gary ensures female contributors are always in the bottom corner saying absolutely nothing. A regular is as the bold and comedic Yorkshireman, awaiting his cue to rant about how effed up he thinks the world is before retiring to his favourite topic of large women's boobies. There are the usual anonymous internet names from faceless camera shy wonders who hover around and say something clever every now and then. Uh, and of course there's Jeremy Griggs from Geeks and Gamers laying claim to the whole show being a co-production when obviously it isn't and finding his own jokes much funnier than anyone else's. Usually a guest sits centre stage who brings with them their own clout and following and everyone pretends they're uh, they're special in some way, when in fact they're no more special than you, me, or your mammy. There's edgy streamer Ryan Cannell. He lurks ready to spew his caustic wit all over the topics at hand, often bringing them to an unbroadcastable dead end. Ryan is sharp with his takes, which is more than can be said for his beard, but he's funny and I suspect a very nice chap at heart. In fact, all of them are. The flaw of the show is it's often samey, and as the viewing figures have grown, so has the team's sense of celebrity, leaving us with a sort of very in jokey laden effort that I feel goes on a tad too long. I can't help but sense it needs to be more produced and maybe a little less rambling. New viewers might feel alienated by the constant in-jokes, but the super chats do come quick and fast with Gary picking the missed messages up on a separate stream he calls the Nooner. Each show is bringing in about $1.5 to $2,000 per show, with Nooner bagging another grand, so it's really not to be sniffed at. You can find Friday Night Tights at YouTube forward slash Nerdrotic every Friday. Wait for it. Night.